everyone, today I'm reviewing the In Beauty Slushy Serum Moisturizer. And really quick, I just want to say I purchase all these products with my own money. I'll never waste your time with sponsors or videos. So if you want to help support the channel, check out nobsbeauty.com, join Patreon community, or click on the link below. And really quick, I've got Courtney's Beanie Baby, which is Pincher, and she's from Mississippi. That made me think of Pincher. So there we go. Okay. I need to redesign this to make more room for all my guys. Hopefully, Lincoln or Ike doesn't help me with that. Because Ike was in here checking this out a lot yesterday. He was all over these. And I kept yelling at him, come on out, come on out. And he would just sit there and stare at him. But thankfully, no patrons were harmed in the making of this video. So, okay. So, I picked this brand up. I think it was from ASOS a while ago. Um, and somebody had messaged me and asked me if I had a chance to try anything from this brand. I thought, oh yeah, I've been trying their serum, but now I just realized they're at Sephora, like, as of like a couple days ago. So I thought a good time to review them. Okay, so they say it's a hydrating serum infused with bakuchol and hyaluronic acid that visibly reduces hyperpigmentation, uneven texture, fine lines, and large pores. Uh, they also have a sustainability pledge. For every product they sell, they will fund the removal of three units of plastic from landfills, waterways, and marine environments to be recycled and repurposed. There we go. Okay. And when I get to the first criteria, which is packaging, let me just say, they mention this is the world's, I don't know if it's necessarily, but the world's first fully recyclable re uh, pump bottle. It has no metal spring, which means you can toss in the recycling bin when you're done. The whole thing is fully recyclable, which is awesome. And it's a pump bottle, which is even better because I love a good pump bottle. It's just so much easier to use. And the whole thing is recyclable. That's amazing. So they did a great job with that. Um, okay, in terms of denatured drying types of alcohol, this does not contain any of those. When it comes to fragrance, it does have a very, very light citrus, citrusy scent to it, which uh, is from the inclusion of citrus Junus peel oil, which is typically actually used as an astringent ingredient. Astringent is something that soaks up oil. Um... And it gives products a citrusy scent. It's toward the end of the ingredient list. There's not a lot of it. It's very light. So I think even people that have kind of sensitive skin, most will probably be okay with it. But some people will have, probably have issues with that. Pre-sensitive skin, I didn't have any issues with it at all. And the scent is so light, it dissipates pretty quickly. Um, the manufacturing location for this one is Korea. They're a Korean brand. Um, ease of use. So they recommend using two to three pumps on cleansed skin after toning. Um, they say massage and let absorb into the skin. Slushy can be used as a serum moisturizer or both. I have a feeling if you have dry skin, you're going to want to use a moisturizer over this. But if you have oilier skin, this is probably going to be all the hydration you need. Um, and they also mentioned for extra dry skin, you can layer this under their next level moisturizer. Uh, they also say you can store this in the fridge and pull it out for kind of a cooling feeling, which is always nice to do. Um, and then they also say you can mix it with your favorite foundation to create a tinted moisturizer. Um, and I found it plays well with other products, no issues with pilling. A lot of products that have hyaluronic acid I found can be prone to pilling. I didn't have any issues with that with this one. So very easy to use. Feels very nice on skin. So there we go. Okay, antioxidants and beneficial ingredients in this one. So pretty high up we've got hydrogenated vegetable oil, which is... A emollient and skin conditioning ingredient. Uh, we've got bakuchol. It always sounds like I'm saying bok choy. Bok choy, bakuchol, bok choy, bakuchol. I'm going to have to Google it because I must be saying one of those wrong. But anyway, bakuchol is an amazing cell communicating ingredient. It's an antioxidant. It helps skin behave in the way uh, it's no, it behaves in skin the way retinol does. Um, which it helps upregulate collagen 1, 2, and 4 production and slow down MMP, which is an, a collagen attacking enzyme in our skin, which means it's good. It helps collagen uh, produce more collagen and also helps slow the degradation of collagen, uh, which is nice. Uh, Bakuchol also has anti-acne effects, which is nice. 1% Bakuchol seems to be very effective. Uh, especially and even more so when combined with salicylic acid and fighting acne. So this bakuchol ingredient is amazing. It's got wrinkle fighting uh, elements to it and anti-acne uh, benefits. Does it get any better than that? I don't think so. Okay, so we love that. Then we've got sodium hyaluronate, which is a humectant. 
We've got yuzu seed oil, which is an emollient ingredient. We've got turmeric root extract, which is an antioxidant. Skin soothing, skin brightening, anti-inflammatory, and antimicrobial ingredient. So we love turmeric. Uh, then we've got boravia diffusa, which is a skin protecting ingredient. Then we've got pycnogenol, which is an amazing antioxidant. The extract contains uh, potential antioxidant molecules, uh, which are procyanins and phenolic acids. Uh, and then uh, uh, pycnogenol also provides anti-inflammatory and anti-carcinogenic properties. It also has a potential to provide photo protection complementary to sunscreens. We've got metal foam seed oil, which is a very stable emollient. Uh, we've got betaine, which is a good moisturizing and humectant ingredient. We've got carnauba wax, which always makes me think of waxing a car. I think that's the same thing they use on cars. I don't know. I guess if it's good enough for my car, it's good enough for my face, maybe. But anyway, that's an emollient. We've got two types of vitamin E, which is a good antioxidant hydrating ingredient. And then finally, we've got photosphenogacine, which I always say wrong which is a skin identical ingredient, cell communicating ingredient, anti-acne and antibacterial ingredient. So a nice long list of good ingredients in there, which are all over the place from antioxidants to skin soothing ingredients to emollients. So very nice ingredient list. Okay, when it comes to animal testing, this is vegan, gluten-free and cruelty-free. So very nice. Um, okay, price, actually, you think this is gonna be way more expensive, but this is a full size, which is 35 uh, milliliters, uh, 1.18 ounces, and it retails for $22, which makes it very affordable for a serum. A little bit goes a long way. This bottle will last probably two months or so. So it's a really good deal. Especially if you can get it uh, on sale at Sephora, or I think ASOS where I picked it up. I don't even remember. That must be it, but anyway. Um, okay, then in terms of the it factor, I really like this. It's a nice moisturizing serum. I like the fact that it layers well with other products for dry skin. I like the fact that it's affordable, well packaged, cruelty free. I wish they would have left out that citrus seed oil or peel oil. If they left that out, this would be amazing. Totally fragrance free product that's great for all skin types. But they didn't. So, I mean, it performs nicely. It does contain a few acne junk ingredients, hydrogenated vegetable oil, steric acid, carnauba wax, and vitamin E. But overall, I really do like this one. It's got a lot going for it. Just if they would have left out that one ingredient, it would be 10 out of 10 all the way. But it's still a pretty close, close call. So with a 10 being a perfect score, I give this one an 8, which is still good. So I'm interested in hearing from you guys if you've had a chance to try this or check anything else out from this brand. Leave them a comment. I love hearing from you. And stay tuned for more tomorrow. Thank you so much. Um, really quick, I just want to say I purchase all these products with my own money. I'll never waste your time with sponsors as your videos. So if you want to help, did I already say that? You did. Me. So I got to start all over again, huh? <laughs> okay, I'll start over. So you, you want to do five more? No. Okay.